Sports Kita. We already saw the new Sentinels roster perform for the first time at the Lug Ludwig Exteric Invitational. How much has the roster improved since then? Well, at the Ludwig Terrick Invitational, we had about four to five days of practice. So obviously we're a completely different team right now. We've had a full month to get everybody situated in LA and uh, really flesh out our protocols, communication, punch through the language barrier with our Brazilian players uh, and start, start developing our strategic depth, which I think we've done a great job of so far. And I'm excited to show what we have uh, been working on uh, in these upcoming matches. Thank you. This question is for Coach Psycho. Um, in previous events, uh, while well with Exet, um, you somewhat took on a bit of an antagonist role with the crowd at times. Um, but now with Sassi and Pancada on the team here in Sao Paulo, uh, there's a strong chance the crowd is going to be behind you uh, in your upcoming match against Fnatic. What impact do you foresee the crowd having in your upcoming match? Um, we're excited for the crowd. Um, you know, we, we know we're not a home team, but we do have, you know, players who live here. Um, Sassi literally lives in Sao Paulo. So we're really excited for uh, the crowd support. Um, that doesn't mean I'm not going to be an antagonist. It just means I'm not going to be doing it towards the crowd. Hopefully the crowd will be on our side and will help us in antagonizing the enemies. Yeah, that's well, good, man. <laughs> I'm curious what you think of the current meta after watching the alpha bracket. We saw a lot of chambers. But more importantly, we saw Loud have a lot of success with double duelist. You have Tens and Zek on your roster. Is that something? And you even experimented with it at the Ludwig Tarek Invitational. Is that something we expect to see more of throughout this tournament? Both of those players playing duelist, or is Tens going to be moving more towards initiator going forward? Yeah, I think the meta is in an interesting spot. I think a lot of people uh, were trying to figure it out Shown. coming into um, this tournament, uh, both individually and and per region. And I think that we've signed, we've kind of seen uh, the meta solidify per region. And now uh, this is the first international event, and we're kind of seeing what's working and what's not, right? So, yeah, loud whipping out the double duelist. We've seen some other teams doing it in practice. Um, you know, we're a team that plans to have a lot of depth, um, and that includes in compositions. So, yeah, I mean, we'll have some double duelist comps in the back pocket. We'll have some initiator comps in the back pocket. Um, you know, I don't want to reveal too much, but, you know, we're going to be ready for anything. And we, we see what these teams are running, and we, uh, we know who's running what and, and how, to, how to play against that. And, and we have game plans uh, in place to deal with, with these different teams and what they're running. So uh, I think you guys will be excited to, to see what we have cooked up and, and how it develops, not just initially, but as we go along throughout the tournament and throughout the league this year. I can't have Sean's thing coming up to with Psycho. Um, you know, you just kind of mentioned what you guys cooked up. So this brings me to kind of your partner in crime and leading the charge. Def, you know, you were with him, you know, from X set to now. I just kind of want to ask you, how has he adapted to the IGL role with these new players? And what kind of evolution have you seen from him in that role since his time on X set to now? Um, he's always Did been a right tremendous IGL. Nothing. I mean, that's why I right picked him up on X set to begin with. Um, was his in-game leading ability? I mean, I, I saw him as a nine or 10 out of 10 off the bat as far as in-game leading went. Uh, and then it was just a matter of, of uh, adapting our strategies and gameplay around how he likes to call and kind of fleshing that out and adding the, the cryo piece down the line at, on X set. So, you know, here on Sentinels, I had a lot of faith bringing him in in the IGL role. Uh, I still think he's doing phenomenal. I think with, with Sassy and Pankata, uh, oh gosh. Uh, with and Pankata, <laughs> we punched through that language oh, barrier and they're, they're reacting to his calls very well right now. Um, uh, and I think that we're in a very good spot. I think that Def in particular doesn't get a, enough credit individually for what he does. I think a lot of people look at IGLs and just see, well, how, how hard can they frag? And I don't think that's fair. It's all about team performance and wins. And Rory led a team to top five, top six at, uh, champions last year. And, and he plans, uh, he has no plans to stop right now. So, you know, he's firing in all cylinders. The team's firing in all cylinders. We're ready to go. Hello. Okay, it's on. Uh, I have a question for Don. I wanted to say you uh, you look incredible, my friend. Uh, although I don't know how hot you are in the uh, in the arena there. I I wouldn't be in a suit personally, but obviously well, got to keep up appearances. Obvious. All right, fair enough. You got to keep up appearances. I understand. That's right. Um, so my question will be about um your opinion on your opponents. Obviously, you're coming up against Fnatic. Pretty tough matchup. Uh, obviously, first of all. Um, you know, you will be coming out of the gates against arguably one of the best teams at the tournament. So I wanted to ask you, have you identified any weaknesses going into the match uh, that you think that you know that you can exploit on this team? Um, I think it's less about weaknesses. Um, they're, they're a pretty well-rounded team. They're very, uh, I mean, a very good team, right? They took fifth, sixth at champions, just like Xset did, right? We finished right alongside each other, even though we beat them in the head-to-head. -head. Um, so I have a lot of respect for those boys, a lot of respect for Boaster as a caller. 
Um, but for us, yeah, it's less about weaknesses, more about just identifying tendencies and reactions. And, you know, we, we know how these guys like to play. We understand how Boaster likes to call. And uh, we hope to lean on some of those things, uh, you know, in the match. And, you know, we, we know they bolstered their, their roster a bit in the offseason. They're looking pretty sharp, but so have we, and we are too. So uh, it's going to be a good matchup, uh, possibly the best first-round matchup in the entire tournament. Um, I think either way, it'll be one hell of a match, but we're feeling very confident. Uh, Elizabeth? Ten months. Yes. Since Hello. Work. Can you hear me? Yes. All right. Awesome. Then my question is for Psycho. Hello. Um, I hope everything is going well down there. Um, you spoke a little bit earlier in the press conference about the quote ridiculous format. Um, my question for you nice. is: Is a single Elam tournament a fair way to determine an extra slot for Masters for a region? Ooh, that's not a bad wedded question. I would not have made that decision personally, but I understand Riot have extenuating circumstances and they have to make the best decision to put on the best event for the fans that they possibly can in terms of the Thank actual so price yep. 